game show. We are in a natural museum of arts and science here in Hong Kong. Here we have every Super Mario non-main cannon of the day. Super Mario Kart, Super Mario Golf, all these Japanese rarities, F1 racing on that disc system. What is this? What are these trees down here? I don't even know. So obscure. We got them Nike shoes. When that wake up shorty, you can just do it. Look at that. Signed. Gran Turismo 5 on that PlayStation 2. Nice cup. And they have the uh, Dale Earnhardt. Who's that guy that he died and he has a son? Dale Earnhardt Jr.? Not sure. There are so many Mario games that they needed to split up the collection into two. This is the 25th anniversary. I like the red box. Mario Kart all from the Wii DS. Now, when you talk about Hong Kong, you're really talking about King of Fighters. And here, entombed in this case, is every iteration of King of Fighters. As you can see, this is the uh, roots of a lot of Street Fighter players that have come out from this region, including Xian, including uh, Human Bomb, Xiao Hai, Dako. This is where the roots are. Of course, Mago also played. These are the newer ones, the Dreamcast, and also the Xbox. Dreamcast, those ROMs I downloaded for you. This cat has rabies from the Monster Hunter. He's stuck in there for quarantine. Hong Kong International Airport. Monster Hunter, of course, very big here and in Japan. Doesn't do too well uh, in the West, but they fiend for this kind of stuff. A lot of special edition stuff you see from the crossovers. Over here, even more Monster Hunter. Very beautiful artwork. Capcom! Moving along here is another franchise that doesn't get too much love in the West, but is absolutely a gem here in Asia. Super Robots Wars. Look at that. And these are all the uh, chibi figures, so they're very uh, disfigured. Small with a big head. And of course, you can see how Asian this place is. The uh, Musou series, Dynasty Warriors. You've got uh, Orochi 2, Fist of the North Star. They're up to like seven right now. Wow, look how big this package is. So very uh, heavily Chinese influence from the classics that they've drawn on. Of course, they call, res uh, they call it Biohazard here. I miss those creepy doors that they use to trick people into thinking it's, it's supposed to scare you, but it's really just uh, they're hiding the loading times. That classic Resident Evil. Wow, this is a special edition Resident Evil 6 uh, Xbox. I've never seen this before. Very nice purple. Biohazard. So kind of interesting that they have uh, different naming systems here. And this, of course, is where we come from. Street Fighter 3 Third Trick Art Book. I have never seen this outside of this case before. Very rare uh, Dreamcast, Second Impact. All the way to that, what is this? Japanese tournament. And to finish it off the, uh, for the Street Fighter collection, everything else here. Super rare Sega Mega Drive, Street Fighter 2 Special Championship Edition. Beautiful artwork on that PlayStation one. Is there a Street Fighter the movie here? Do they even have that? Oh! Speak. This is the best game ever. I hope they release a uh, HD remix of this. Look at Fighting Street number one on the CD-ROM. Look how ugly Ryu is, but he's presidential on that Mount Rushmore, blocking off our president's face as if he built the country of the FTC. And finally, when you talk about Southeast Asia, Asia, this is the darling child of them all. You've got Sephiroth. Cloud, who has spawned so many yaoi stories. Vincent, 13. So you can see like uh, a large part of the case is about Final Fantasy VII, which is very dear to everyone. And people have been asking about the HD remix. And I actually asked that question. I got kicked out of that press room because they're like, we've heard this question a thousand times and we answered a thousand times. Kicking out of the media room. Uh, and now they're all about that Final Fantasy XIII, which you can see here and down there. And of course, the new one, Lightning Returns. And this is, all right, when you see these PlayStation, back then they only worked with Sony. Uh, of course, now they're released on multiple platforms. When you see these classic titles with that artwork, you know these were the glory. Whoa, a Hori memory card. Very interesting. 
you, get, you have to love the Japanese artwork on the old Final Fantasies. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, the Japanese versions are released in Asia as well. And of course, the American, the Western ones have different artwork and whatnot, but up until now, they have been using the Japanese stuff. So this is a really good place, Hong Kong, that is, and Taiwan, of course, is a good place to get the Japanese versions for a little cheaper. Wonder Swan, Final Fantasy II. Yeah, we can see that they use the classical Japanese numbering systems from uh, 1 through 6, whereas we only know 1 to 3. So, you know, we're, we hear a lot about TGS and E3, but all around the world there are these other regional conferences, and I have to say, Asia Game Show does have a lot of good stuff here. You get It's pretty central in Hong Kong, so definitely if you have a chance, do come down here. The showgirls are great, and I have a date right now, so I'm going to drop this mic and get denied by one of them. I'm out of here, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. I think I broke the mic. <laughs>